We're gonna truck camp in the Defender tonight on the Gulf of Mexico. Um, looks like we've got some water leaking. Um, that's a pickle. From what though? Dude, there's dog puke all over the end of the bed. If you'd rather sleep with dog puke, or 10 mosquitoes. To me, it's dog puke all day. Gotta fix the sink tomorrow. I need to put blue on different food. I have to shower tomorrow. I need to charge the Jackery. This is like one of the roughest nights I feel like we've had in a while. <laughs> getting rid of Blue's puke. We just came from the beach, so he's pretty dirty. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay, Blue. <laughs> Blue's new healthy, expensive food. Let's hope it works out for him. Luckily for me, when I went in there, I was passing the grooming section, like Petco Grooming, and Petco Grooming is always booked out. Um, at least in my experience from when I've taken Blue there. Anyways, I saw the girl there and I was like, by chance, do you have an opening for grooming today? And she was like, yeah, I do in a half hour. And I was like, what are the chances? Because Blue definitely needs to be like fully professionally de-shed right now, now that we're in hotter weather. So this works out well because I have a million errands to run for Poe and Blue is gonna be in his bath for like three or four hours, so. We can run all of these errands and Bubby's like getting groomed out of the heat. So first stop, I need to go to the gym and I need to shower. I just spent like two hours in the gym, which is amazing because I got like a really good workout in and obviously I showered, which is important when you're living in the humidity and covered in beach sand, you know, and I've just been sweating for three days. So definitely glad I did that. Um, did not expect to be in there for two hours though. I just could not stop working out. So um, safe to say I'm happy, high on endorphins, but my errand schedule is a little, I have to pick up Blue in 45 minutes. So um, we're parked right next to a grocery store. I'm gonna run and load up on groceries really quick and then we'll see where we're at. Okay. Look at all this sand. Man, Poe didn't stand a chance at the beach. <laughs> I did not expect that to need two gallons right now, but I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got water. Wow, you can really burn through three hours when you're trying to be productive. I'm gonna make myself a protein shake. So I was just lifting weights. Poe is in a state of disarray. 
Like I, this I'll throw away at a gas station. There's sand in every single crevice of this vehicle, okay? Um, like I showed you blue seat. That's just like the state of the entire car. The beach did us dirty, but no worries, it was fun. Honestly, just for the sake of like, the amount of wind and cooler temperatures, I'm considering going back to a different beach spot tonight maybe. Maybe in a different state, we'll see. I have to run to Home Depot because if you guys remember from last vlog, the sink is leaking. I'm not necessarily sure from where, but it's leaking for sure. So I need to go get plumber's tape, I guess. That's what I've been told. And just try to stop the leak. You know, we don't need all of this. I just spilled almond milk on my sock. It went into my shoe. <laughs> Anyways, that's something we can do with blue. Cause I'm running out of time. Your girl, time management, maybe not my forte, so. <laughs> Anyways, let's go pick up my kid. What can I do for you? I'm here to pick up Blue. Uh, Blue's not ready yet. Oh, she told me he'd be ready at four. It normally takes two to four hours. Okay. Um, and she's fussing with a puppy right now. Oh, Blue's not ready yet. So I guess let's vacuum out Poe a little bit. Probably have a couple more hours before I have to get Blue. Starbucks next door, I'll probably just go sit and edit, try to charge the Jackery. Just stay productive while our boy's getting clean. You know? left lights on? Crap. Well, how did I do that? Let's see if he starts up. Come on, Poe. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, I need to go get the Jackery. Heck yeah, 100%. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go get Blue Sif. Hi, I'm here to pick up Blue. Bobby! Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. No Appreciate problem. it. Have a good night, guys. Bobby, you look so pretty! Do you feel better? Huh? Oh, is that yours? Yeah. Thank you. It's a Defender? Is yeah. That what it is? What, what, uh, is it like Ford or something or just Defender? It's a Land Rover Defender. Land Rover. I told you it was a Land Rover. Yeah, That's badass. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, you're totally good. Yeah, yeah I, I just. Was, I was like, wow. You've been traveling all over with it, huh? Thanks. Yeah, I took it. Um, I'm on a 50 state road trip and I just um, imported it from the UK. Oh, so, that's wow. awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. I really love that. Thank well, you. Have fun. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. I just realized poor Blue hasn't eaten all day, so, oh my gosh, that grooming appointment was so necessary for him. He feels like a million times better. He hasn't been de-shed since he's had his winter coat. Well, I guess maybe he did middle of the winter, but I'm sure he uh, feels a lot better. Okay. Dinner in a parking lot. Bubby, you look so pretty. You feel so nice. Like, no undercoat at all. Hop up. You wanna get it on your own or you want me to do it? Okay. 
<laughs> there you go, pup. All right, let's go to Home Depot. Very nice. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse you're, me. I'm sorry. You're good. You're going for it, yeah. Okay. That's going to give you a waterproof seal. Sweet. Thank you. I think I got it then. Thank you so much. Okay. Can't ring you up, buddy. Come on. Blue. Come here. Come. Left side, kid. Good boy. Okay, Ruby, come on. Hop up. Up. You got it. Good job. Well, we're officially done with our errands for the day. What do you say, kid? Should we go find camp? I don't know if I want to go to Texas or not. Do I want to drive two hours? I need to, though. I need to. I need to. Welcome to Texas. Got here a little late, it's after midnight. From what I can see, it looks pretty out there. We actually found another beach camping site, so I'm pretty pumped about it. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> I love when he does that. This little portable fan that I used to have in Rue, but brought over to Poe, especially with the hook, like you can just hook it anywhere. I love this thing. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Bubby, your mom's gotta be a plumber. Clearing out the uh, boats should give me enough room to wrap that stuff around. Keep in mind, I have no clue where the leak is. Um, it just usually makes the wood w wet right here, so... I guess my theory is just to wrap the tape from here up. And hope that fixes it? I don't know. I'm not a plumber, okay? But a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Sometimes living on the road means you have to be your own plumber. I am literally just guessing. I feel like everybody's gonna yell at me and tell me I'm doing this wrong, but I'm just doing my best. Oh no. Oh my gosh, this looks awful. <laughs> Let's hope it stops the leaks. I guess we'll find out. All right, well that was one entire roll of flex seal tape, so let's hope that does it. We'll give it a full run through tomorrow. I don't really wanna deal with it at the moment, um, testing it wise, I'll test it tomorrow. And also the wood is still kind of wet, so I just wanna give it time to dry. But that was our last big adulting okay. thing on the agenda today, bub, and we got it done. Got to Texas, became plumbers. It's a good day. How do you guys start your peel for oranges? I had this conversation today. I have no fingernails. Like mine are really short. Um, so this is what I do. You just bite it to start, okay? Hear me out. I've <laughs> only ever met like a couple other people that do it that way. But to me it's just like, work smarter, not harder. You know, if I was sitting there with my short nails trying to get an orange peel started, it would take forever, so. That's my hack of the night. Also, you know what I just remembered? Blue hates oranges. Like, hates. Is it mean to show you? It's not mean, right? He just like goes away from him. He doesn't, I'm gonna show you. Bobby. <laughs> you don't wanna bite? <laughs> you don't wanna bite? No? Okay. Oranges are the only thing I've ever found that Blue doesn't like. Because he's kind of a foodie, but... I'm sure it's something to do with the citrus. Voila! Dinner. 
first dinner in Texas in orange. Oh, also, you know what I got at the store today, which I thought was so interesting? We have to try it. A protein Pop-Tart. 20 grams of protein. I mean, come on. It's not looking promising. This looks like it's gonna be awful. I'm so glad I impulse bought like four of them. You know what? I kind of feel like I'm chewing on a sock, like in a good way maybe. I can't tell if I love or hate it. Is it like chewing on a sock or like a pillow? Does anyone even want to chew on a pillow? Just look at how they market this versus what it looks like. That's deceptive marketing. I think my lesson here is that good foods that are supposed to be good foods, you should just let them be and not try to get them because they're protein packed and then like leave the protein dense foods for, you know, like eat chicken and then eat a real Pop-Tart. Don't try to eat a legendary tasty pastry because it really just tastes like a throw pillow. <laughs> Why didn't nobody tell me I look like Hermione Granger right now? This hair, this humidity is out to get me. Bubba, you don't like these. Oh, so you just don't like the peel. Oh my gosh, you do like oranges. What the heck? So it's just the peel that you hate. Yeah, okay. Well, good to know. You learn something new every day. I spent seven years thinking this dude hated oranges. Mwah. Okay, come on, go potty. There's mosquitoes out there. I can see those suckers. I can see the mosquitoes lining up at the door right now. Blue is outside going to the bathroom. Um, he also needs help getting back in the vehicle. So I think what I'm gonna try to do to trick the mosquitoes is shut off all the lights in the Defender, go out the front door, go get Blue, throw him up into the seat as fast as I can and shut the door before any mosquitoes get in. So I'll be back in a jiff and hopefully no mosquitoes got in. Okay, we'll see if my plan works. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 This is what the setup is looking like for tonight. I covered my windows because everybody was yelling at me, so have no fear, nobody can see in. Look at this face. You're telling me that's not the most handsome face you've ever seen in your whole life? Handsome boy. Good boy. Are you the handsomest boy to ever be on YouTube? I think so. I think so. It's almost two o'clock in the morning. One forty. Time to go to bed, kid. Oh my gosh. How is there another mosquito in here? W, what the heck? What is going on? Potty. The potty bum. Do you guys remember how last night I thought I didn't let any mosquitoes in? 
Um, I ended up killing five last night, and I just woke up and there's two more mosquitoes inside the truck, so. I was gonna kinda chill here on the beach for the day. And this beach is beautiful. I like this a lot more than the last one. It looks a lot cleaner and like nicer. But this, um, this mosquito attack we're dealing with is not my favorite. Plus coupled with the condensation that keeps getting inside the truck, like, oh. I think I might just try to go more inland and get away from the humidity a little bit. I don't know. Either way, I feel like it's kind of time to move on to this spot. So. What do you say, kid? Should we get out? Okay, get over. Get over. Killed one. I tell you guys, I almost crashed when I saw this Dutch Bros and like veered over four lanes of traffic as fast as I could to get this. I am so excited right now. You guys don't even know how much my love for Dutch Bros runs like so deep. It's crazy. I don't know what states Dutch Bros are in besides Colorado for sure. And I think Oregon and Washington I've gotten Dutch Bros in before. But um, when I used to spend a lot of time in Colorado, I would go to Dutch Bros constantly. It's honestly, dare I say better than Starbucks? I, bold statement, but it really is like the best. I had no clue Texas had Dutch Bros. So you know what? Texas is um, on my good list as of right now. I'm loving it so far. <laughs> okay. Now that we're finally away from the swarm, um, I want to test out the sink and make sure it's not leaking and then we can make breakfast because I just didn't want to leave the door open and get eaten alive, so. No leaks so far, so maybe we fixed it. Bobby, what are you doing? This isn't convenient, kid. I've got to make breakfast. Egg whites, red bell pepper, turkey, drowned in Tabasco. Healthy breakfast. Breakfast of uh, champions, if you will. Blue and I are gonna get ready for the day and go start exploring Texas. So uh, leave us comments down below of where we have to hit in the state of Texas. And you might wanna hurry because by the time this video uploads, we'll probably only have like a week-ish left in the state of Texas. Maybe, so let us know. Say bye, bub. Say thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.